Glenn, Glenn, <laughs> Glenn, uh, Glenn Ray. Oh, Glenn, Glenn Hammond and I, Nikki. Yeah, I saw her make a comment. Hello, neighbor. And I thought, well, what, what do you what do you mean? Hello, neighbor. OK, we're live. I just want to let you know. So what I'm going to okay. do, because we had a false start, I'm going to go in and uh, first of all, make sure it's OK. And then second yeah. of all, I'm going to share it out a little bit so people see it coming on because they were looking for it. OK, that's good. Uh, Jenny Jones. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, let's see. Am I going to find her? Oh, there she is. All right, Jenny. Oh, we already got 15 people in the house. Okay. So let me go ahead and uh, share it out a little bit. Whoa. It's working. The sound's working. Okay. All right. Let's see. Hang on one second. We had a false start. The internet went down. We'll be right with you. Let me just. Uh, Put it into the network. Anytime we have technical difficulties before a show, we always have a great show, so I'm not worried about it. <laughs> this, is, this is excellent. Amazing uh, elevations going on right now. I'm, I'm seeing it out there. I'm living it. It's, uh, it's incredible to see the, the expansion with people. It's amazing, isn't it? It really is. It really, people... Yeah. Yeah, people all food. over are, are uh, starting to realize who they are. It is freaking amazing, and and I had something happen to me this morning that I want to talk about, uh, because it, as it came, of course, it, it it made me uncomfortable, which I had to go take into myself, but uh, not before I reacted to this person. <laughs> um. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't like the old days. I didn't blow him out of the water, or punch him in the face. Uh, <laughs> but it did bring something from infinite intelligence. It did bring something in. And I don't know if I can. But I know it's meant for us to talk about it. You and yeah. I. Yeah. Uh, and specifically because it's you. And don't ask me why. I just know that. All okay. right. So, OK. So let me just say this. Hello, everybody. Uh, if these shows resonate with you, please share. Um, we, we have been getting suppressed again by Facebook, but uh, it seems like the word of mouth is holding us above water. We've got 53 people in the house, so if you would share to your page and maybe one group or, or just one or the other, if, you, if it resonates. Um, so we have a special show today. We had a, an outage here on the Internet, but we're going to push forth. And uh, we've got a, a beautiful guest with us from New Zealand <laughs> by way of England. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So let me welcome uh, Diane McLaughlin, Angel Devines here, Paul Castaneda, who just went to Sedona, Mary Cooper, who Mary Cooper is here every single show, every day. Thank you, Mary. Um, Karen uh, Fenstermacher, Harlan Orlando Burr, Jessica Woods. Hope to get you on. Love to have you on. Uh, Ricky Hint and Killick, Claire Louise Lynham, Katarina, Pia Holland. Wendy Kirkwood, Valerie Peterman, Susan Curtis, Sonia, Tidy, <laughs> Janine, <laughs> Banrion. Mm -hmm. She's beautiful. Uh, Naveen's here. Uh, Maria Williams, Jania Gazda. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, Janine's in Spain right now. Very beautiful. Maria Potts, Shaz Hargreaves here, Cindy Aldridge. Raquel Trevino, Three Feathers is here. Morgan Skirping from Norway. Uh, how do you say that? Good Morgan. <laughs> Stephen <laughs> Michael Jones. Stephen Michael Jones, another Norwegian. Lapis Luna. Uh, and everybody else, because there's too many coming in too fast. But thank you all for coming. Hello, Montana. Okay, so now, uh, yeah. Welcome to Soul Speaks 5D, Soul G1 Network. We've got uh, Jenny Jones in the house today, and we're really excited about it. Thank you for sharing space with us and honoring us with your presence. Well, thank you so much for having me on your show. It's mm -hmm. it's an absolute pleasure. Well, I'm glad. It's a pleasure for us to have you here. Donna Campbell from Scotland and Wendy Wu <laughs> from the UK. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you know, I mean... I don't do it as much as I used to, but I used to, you know, always ask people, when did you wake up? I'm not going to ask you. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll um, tell you anyway, look, I've, I've always been awake. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, yeah right, from, 
right from a child. I not necessarily seeing much, but sensing, constantly sensing spirit, yeah. beings, all sorts. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of people really have the same story. I mean, mm. most, my, I'd say 95% of them that have been on the show. Yeah. And they say, I always had it. And if you really think about it, we did. And, yeah. uh, and then you go into 3D and you get yeah. married and you do all that stuff and you go to sleep. And you yes. <laughs> you know, and have and like so, a long nap. Uh, yeah, a long nap. And then you wake up. Yeah. But, you know, uh, but, you know, uh, it, there's another wake up just happening now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's something going on. And it's been going on since probably before the, uh, you know, some people say 11 11 of last year. Some people say the solstice, definitely by January 1. But, yes. man, January had its own characteristic february had its own and this month has been absolutely like every day has been like an ascension month to me i don't know yeah what how do you feel about it yeah i agree i, I think um well my feeling is that we're all getting things still coming up and it's it's a bit of a yo-yo there's one minute everything's really good and and you know you're having a day and everything's wonderful and everything's working out perfectly and synchronicities are happening and then then it could yeah. be an hour later or the next day something comes in to to give you a bit of a shake up yeah i get that you know uh i've been doing a lot of shows uh when morgan left she loaded up the month i told her at my request just so i could stay busy because it's for me it's for me doing the shows even though sometimes it's it's a bit challenging because I deal with the same thing everybody deals with, you know, the, the energies yeah. and such, but I'm able to, to connect in some type of way. And, uh, but, uh, so I, I've really held it together pretty good. You know, uh, I, I got burnt out. I, I did like 17 days in a row, three, four shows a day. And I, and, uh, so it would have been day before yesterday. I got really, I got kind of burnt out by the last couple wow. of shows. And so, uh, you know, I, I uh I might have I might have projected and acted out a little bit, you know, to Morgan really. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing about that because we've been separated and it's difficult. That's in itself is difficult, but yes. it was a very quick deal. I was just like, hey, you know, I can't do this. I gotta go, kind of thing. Yes. And but today, and so and so yesterday I took a day off and, and all day long I just laid around and I just watched movies and I, you know, I just ate. And I, and I, and about three o'clock, I took a nap. And then I woke up about six and I was like, man, I'm on, it's on game on. So, I mean, yeah. I was up till one thirty scheduling and working and messages. I must've gone through over a hundred messages. So I felt really good. And I slept four hours, got up at five 30, started working again. Yeah. And I had put up a post. Uh, I had put up a post, I think three days ago, cause I had, a, well, the most incredible experience I've ever had. And I've had many divine episodes, like so many of us where I had these 12 dragons come in different colors, different, uh, and they were all aspects of me. Okay. Yeah. Let me make that clear to everybody. There was also other divine essences there. I don't know how all that works. You know, I know that we're all one and, you know, some seem to be external like Yeshua or Magdalene, but I also know that they're in me. So I, I, there's a, and I'm not picking on anybody and I'm not picking on this brother and I'm not going to say any names, but, so I'm going on pretty good. And I get this message from a brother who's been on uh, and, and I have a lot of respect for him. Uh, he's mm. been in the game a long, long time. And this is where I'm going with this. People like you. Uh, he and it's not the, the, the specifics of the story. It's what I'm trying to get to, which you'll you'll understand in a second. And I want to ask you about. Okay. So he says to me. Uh, I've had a lot of experience with reptilians and, uh, you know, they had me kidnapped for a few years and took me a long time to get over it. And uh, what you described in your post, uh, you know, which, which, uh, I was led to post in, uh, in, in, because it was to activate people. Uh, he said, what well, you, you were, you were under the influence of reptilians. In other words, like, you know, you, oh. you don't know what you're talking about. And um, I said, you know, uh, I said, you know what? You don't know who I am. You don't mm -hmm. know what I've been through. Uh, you don't know my experiences and you don't know my level of expansion or, or dimensional existence. You know, because I don't. 
<laughs> but I do know I don't need to explain it. And I said, thank you very yeah. much. Have a nice day. Now, my point is this. This is what I wanted to get to for you. Yeah. Because I know you're supposed to, to you're, you're supposed to offer something here. I, I just know this intuitively. So the rules have changed so quickly and so fast. What served us before does not serve us now. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you've been in the game for 40 years, 30 years, 20 years. I don't care if you're connected directly to, to Jesus or, or this galactic or that essence. It doesn't matter. And it's not to diminish that. Yeah. Because limitations are limitations, period. Okay. I learned in my journey three years ago, you know, night after night, walking through a cemetery to accept every point of light and every point of dark. I yeah. made peace and ran into reptilians and, and this and that. And I was in, 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 it was a different realm then. They yeah. had power over us for some reason. And that's by our own beautiful, infinite, perfect design. Yeah. But everything's changed now. And the one thing I fully understand is, and Amanda Lawrence just wrote a post on this. I got a transmission on it. A few other people have. And that is about boundaries. Mm -hmm. And there is no need for boundaries in the 5D+. plus. Because yeah. there is no infringement. There is no, I'm not going to infringe on your space and I, and you're not going to infringe on mine. So therefore there is none of that. Everything is unconditional and wide open. I talked to a very yeah. good friend of mine yesterday from South Australia. And yeah. she said, Todd, and she's like many of us has been elevated in the last couple of weeks, expansively and rapidly. And she said, I'm no longer afraid. Anything comes around me. I just welcome it and invite it into my heart. And that's my point. Yeah. That's my point probably the people that are most challenged are going to be those that have been connected the longest and the strongest because it's a challenge anyway to the ego but the yeah. rules have changed everything's changed i don't have the answers i don't have I the didn't. answers i don't know so <laughs> i don't know which which i know you've been because you're a practitioner right yes yeah so you've been doing this for quite some time i mean what's yeah. your what's your take on all this what can you offer what what, what are your thoughts well <clears throat> My thoughts are that in the 5D, like you said, there are no boundaries. There are, there literally are no boundaries. And, you know, we, we're heading towards unity and <clears throat> peace and harmony and all those things. And there's the, obviously there's the polarity going on throughout the world at the moment. And all I can say really is as each individual opens, and I don't really know the answers because, you know, I'm, I'm not some guru. I'm just an ordinary person that, that happens to be living this life in this lifetime. Um, I think my feeling is no judgments. Don't have any judgments everybody's on their own journey everybody is having their own experience and their experience might be totally different to what we're having so really if we can it and it's hard because the human stuff does come in but it, if we can actually have no judgments on other people um, and I'm, what i've found with myself when it comes to like the darker side of things perhaps is that if somebody is totally empowered within themselves and totally in that space of full knowing of they don't need to know their journey yet because we don't know but knowing of who they are on such a deep soul level that they are they're going to be in that flow that's what i call it the flow of the universe the flow of life yeah and and even though there might be a few hiccups and things present themselves for them to go deeper and perhaps clear out something within because whenever we react to something it means there's something going on within us exactly that needs, yeah that needs to be looked at really we don't need to go into the history of it we just need to acknowledge it look at it and think okay i, I realize now why i like this and i'm gonna let, let me it go let me give an example and also equal time because you know i'm not throwing rocks at the brother that that, that <laughs> yeah. triggered me well so that's the first thing i did right and yeah. i and, and we, we do this on the show strictly to talk about our experience because i 
I firmly believe this is the highest form of activation and soul code exchange that we can have, you know? Yeah. So the first thing I did, the first thing I did was like, okay, I just sent that message and I'm like, oh man, I drank too much coffee. I'm a little amped up. I thought, okay, well, what, what is it in me? So mm -hmm. I sat down and I thought, okay, I, I know that I, I know that that doesn't resonate. I know that oneness is oneness. And, and I know that just by putting out that type of um, uh, comment to me, message to me, was really, was really a, a fear-based kind of thing that could, could increase fear, which by my response, I may have even contributed to. And then I said, okay, but what is it about you? And then I said, okay, do you really, are you really unafraid of anything, Todd? And I was like, uh, do you really know that something can't have power over you? And I was like, you know what? I really don't, but mm -hmm. I know this, I have no choice, but to believe I intend to know. And I do know as much as I can understand it, my human and my human, human psyche, my human mind is that I am divinity. And, and if a 22 foot reptilian comes jumping in this house and says, I'm going to rip your, your head off, I'm going to say, I'm sold, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. I, you can't kill me. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and that's all, that's the best I can do. So I, I gained that from it. And then, so, but to your point, this, this, anything that makes us uncomfortable, you know, and I think this is common knowledge. Now we, we take into ourselves because yeah. that, that's the, that's the best, that's the best thing we can do to serve ourselves and serve the collective is to expand and, 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 and take in more, if you want to call it more darkness, more light, whatever, and, and to yeah. expand the, the, the spectrum or the, or the, the bookends of, of your, uh, what you claim. Yeah. Because if anything, I, I be, yeah. go ahead. If anything, um, when we feel like that, it's like the universe is doing us a favor because we then, as long as we react in the correct way, because then if we go within and go, okay, why did that make me feel like that? What is, is it? Is it something from my past? Is it my childhood? Is it a past life thing? You know, and the, and you sort of go within and think, okay, because you look at it from a different perspective, and I think that's what um, is important if we can all do this. And I know we're human, so we're living the human experience. But by looking at things that unfold in life from a different perspective, from a holistic perspective, we get a better view of what is actually unfolding here. So, you know, when, cause we all get triggered, I get triggered occasionally and, and you know, and I'm thinking, oh, wow, that was, that really hit here, you know, <laughs> what, what all about, you know? So I really have to go in and go, okay, what is that all about? And sometimes I actually suss it out that it was a hurt from when I was a little girl, you know, or something yeah, yeah. like that yeah. in a child stuff. And, and then I sort of suss it and I go, okay, I, I understand that and I'm going to let it go now because I don't need it anymore. And I thank it for coming up and presenting itself. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to let it go. Yeah. But absolutely. Yeah. On a, on a, when we're on, and like I said, I'm going to say again, we, we still are all human. We're living this human experience. But if we can lift ourselves up and, um, have a viewpoint in a holistic way like we are all one yeah, yeah. then we will we will flow through life a lot easier yeah and I, and I think part of it too and I think it's coming down to this what you were talking about earlier like you know it's like a yo-yo I think yeah. we're on the we are by our own efforts desire uh, faith, love, courage, whatever, uh, we're on the universal fast track. And it's, it's not even yeah. like it was last year on the fast track. Cause last year, a lot of, most people came in at the end of the year saying, Holy shit, that's it. I, I can't do this again. I, thank God that's over. Right. Well, we've had yeah. three 2018s and three in two and a half months already. Yeah. But, uh, but, uh, oh, I forgot what I was going to, Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> it's that 3d memory thing. Right. <laughs> uh, what were you talking about? I, I get that. I must say, it'll you know. come back. It'll come back. But it, but it was on the lines of what you were talking about uh, in terms of uh, I can't remember now. Hmm. Yeah, about things triggering us, and and if we can look at it as in a holistic way and and raise oh, ourselves yeah. up. Yeah. Well, what I was going to say is, you know, we've spent so much time. Well, 
enough of our focus, maybe not today as much as it was a year ago, two years ago, 10 years ago, has been on the external. Oh, my God. People are, yeah. and this is, you know, I'm not making light of this, but, you know, people in, in this uh, over here aren't eating. There's war over here. There's pedophilia. Yeah. There's this and that. It seems to me now the more of us are working inside, internal yeah. to external, uh, the more external that's being exposed and it's yeah. coming rapidly. And yeah. so I just fall to this place and I, and I say, okay, wait a minute. We are, we are the architects. We're divine. Uh, yeah. We built this, we built this realm some way or another. It doesn't matter if it was fallen angels or, or interference by reptilians or archa whatever. It doesn't matter anymore because yeah, right. they either have power over us. They don't. And I say they don't. So the they bottom don't. line is, the bottom line is anything out here is ugly and horrific as it may look. Not only is it not what it seems, but it's in every bit of it's inside of me. Yeah. Every bit of pedophilia is inside of me. There is nothing. There is nothing out there that is not inside of me. I am the universe. And, and, and that's oneness. And, you know, I don't want to say unfortunately, but we want to say oneness is, Hey, we all love each other, fluffy, love and light, but no, it's everything. It's everything yeah. because we can't see from the human eyes. We can't see the whole yin yang. We can't see both sides of the veil a hundred percent with hundred percent clarity. If we could, we would understand that some of these horrific things and people and such that we, we might think we're not like, or might think that's not part of us. Yeah. You know, uh, we would see that it all makes perfect sense in a perfect order. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, if you think of it another way, all these, all this stuff that's going on around the world and, and out there is all fear-based stuff, most of it. Yeah. And that is one major big distraction from people actually looking within and, and waking up or, or doing the inner work. Yeah. So, I mean, is there a plan out there to stop people waking up? I mean, you know, there's so many different scenarios you can look at. Um, but the more we go within, the more, and this is why I like, when mindfulness came out, I was going, yes, thank goodness. <laughs> it's making people actually be aware of how they're behaving, what they're doing, you know, and all that stuff. Um, so that was like a, a, a new movement, which really helped people then start going within. And, um, and of course, it's developed from there because people are now thinking, okay well i've got this coming up from childhood or or whatever and the younger generation have got it i might need to go and get help to get this cleared up so they might be go seeking a psychologist or a, 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 yeah. a whoever to help or even a healer or whoever coach to help but it means that they're focusing on going within and actually clearing out the yeah. stuff and the more that everybody does that the better and because these outside things are big distractions from yeah. that. Yes. So That's if true. everybody, yeah, if everybody gets to realize that actually what this is going on out here is just a big distraction from from uh, the important thing of going within and and the more that people go within on a collective level, those outward things are going to slowly stop. Yeah. Very slowly. Yeah. Uh, and, because know, people have done right. the work and we're going to create yeah. a, a world, a planet, which which will eventually be in harmony. Yeah. You know, uh, this is, yeah. I mean, uh, I think about this uh, NLP type of uh, exercise that I did three or four years ago. Yeah. Uh, and I remember sitting in the studio <clears throat> and I remember that, I, I, you know, I, I went above the timelines and I went to the past. Yeah. And then I, you know, I land the exercise where you land where you, you know, you see some type of crack or trauma or something. <clears throat> so I did. And it was like, uh, excuse me, it was like, um, uh, you know, I don't want to say like, you know, like King Arthur era. It was like, yeah. That. Yeah. So I don't know what years that was or century. So I planted myself in there and, I was following the exercise and I started walking down the linear path. And as I was, and I was told now this, what I was told actually came from, I would have to say my higher self, right? 
Yeah. And it said, whatever you see, keep walking. Okay. In other words, it's not real. Okay. So I'm walking down this linear path and I see what I assumed, you know, felt like, like in that incarnation was my beloved. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I see my best friend and I see them having, you know, a relationship or being yeah. in love, whatever. And I really, and, and so the, the point of that exercise, I guess, was to, was to clear that. Yeah. But, but I kind of look at it like we're headed the same way. Like it's an all or nothing proposition. So if we give one iota of our attention over to this false flag or over to this, what, and start saying, okay, was that real? Wasn't it real? And get into debates and this and that we're actually still there. Yeah, we're we are. Not, yeah. So, yeah. so I look at it kind of like that NLP exercise where I looked over, I saw them, I saw a lot of warfare, a lot of blood, a lot of, a lot of, you know, just brutal stuff going on. And I just kept walking and I just kept walking. And, and I was being told that's not real. That wasn't real. That was yeah. an illusion. And and it's it, it's embedded in your psyche as if it was real. So I kind of think that maybe that's where we're headed. It's an all or nothing proposition. Yeah. So there can't be, you know, you can't be 99.9%, you know, jumping into the higher, the, the higher dimensions of the new earth or however you want to, however you want to formulate or, or name that. Yeah. No. Um, yeah. I mean, you, you, you know, it's so easy to slip back into that outward stuff, but it's, uh, again, I think it's about being fully aware of yourself. Mindful actually. Uh, yeah. in all at all times if, if possible because it's so easy to get sucked back into the drama of what's going on around yeah. um and that's why i say you know even i struggle with it at times especially with what's just happened in new zealand here because it's like all over the news and everything um and and i i have to keep reminding myself and focusing on sending healing and vibe good vibes and love and all that mm -hmm. stuff to that situation through all timelines because it's not just this timeline that's been affected when something like that does unfold it's actually and all vice, through and, and vice versa and, I mean, vice and, versa. When, and when we when we expand yes. in ourselves it's a, yeah 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 absolutely so i have to keep reminding myself to just keep focusing and sending really good vibes there because the way I see it in my being is and I don't fully understand it but I it's not just this dimension or this timeline when something like that unfolds True. it affects everything because we're all connected it it affects everything through past generations through future generations and the more that we can try and step out of the drama of what's unfolded yeah. and send good vibes, healing. Um, it's not even actual healing. It's just a blanket. I want to put, I want to say a blanket of um, truth and wisdom and knowledge and, and, and everything else yeah. through it to, to try and, level it out a bit so to help as much as possible with yeah. to keep things smooth if you understand um, i mean i'm seeing it in my mind but it's really hard for me to put it into words yeah so much of that so much of that <laughs> so much of what we are is but you know it's like too we, we we're in this transition so we're we're you know i'm a big believer too that the verbalization and just discussing i don't know everything such and such let's just talk about it what's your experience and we and these are the things that 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 create the expansion and open and activate. But so if I look at what you're saying too, and I have to say to myself, because I've been in this situation, even, mm -hmm. even with that event, uh, you know, uh, is I can do, I can send this blanket out mm -hmm. and, and I can still have it unresolved in myself. Yeah. Like I, there, there's a two or three or four things that really piss me off that, about this, this whole, you know, disclosure, even though they said there's not been disclosure, but things that, you know, have happened are happening. Yeah. But I know, I know the best thing I can do is I can clear this in myself. Yeah. And, and like you said, it's not that easy. And it might, it, it, and what you clear today 
might create something that needs to be cleared tomorrow because you weren't even, you didn't even have the awareness to know that it was there the day before. Absolutely. But yes. So, so by doing that, it sends like this pulse out yeah. 360 degrees in every way, like yeah. an orb sends the pulse out, like you said, yeah. not just to this realm, but to all dimensions. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a, it, it's taken us down. It's not even a rabbit hole. It's like an yeah. elephant hole. Yeah. It's taken us down. It's taken us down, and it's and it's requiring that each and every day we take it further and further. And the universe is is is. I think it's our own choice, but it, it faster and faster, quicker and quicker, because we all want to get to the promised land vibration. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And and you know, the more that each individual, each one of us, can be there, be their sovereign self stand in their own wisdom and their own knowing without taking on all this outside stuff you know we're affecting just our energy field is affecting the people that we're with that you know in our everyday lives even if walking into a shopping mall your energy field and what you're thinking feeling and everything else is affecting absolutely everything so the more that we can keep in that good space within sort out our own stuff and and just really resonate that that open heartedness yeah then we are going to be affecting again i want to go it's like like you said i call it a, i call it like a um a nuclear love bomb right yeah. so if you can imagine yeah. a mushroom cloud yeah but it's a love bomb. So, I mean, I do it even when I walk into a shopping mall. If I feel, because I feel energy a lot, if I feel that the energy's down, I will walk into a shopping mall and go, right, okay. So I just fully engage myself, expand my heart out. And I, with intention, I go that every one of these people that are in this mall are going to receive yeah. something that is going yeah. to help them. Yeah. That's and, and, and that can't be underestimated. No, it's powerful. That's actually, that actually, that that conscious intention. That's what you're talking about. Mindfulness. Yeah. I mean, that conscious intention is 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 more powerful than, you know. I mean, it, it really is. And, and this and this is the crazy thing. You know, I remember years ago getting the the down or whatever you call it, the message that yeah. everybody's pain is equal. Yes. It's just proportionate to their life experience. But everybody's yeah. pain is equal. Everybody's love is equal. Every, everything is equal. And so nothing is more horrible. And, and I know it because it's there is no there is no in between. It's all or nothing. So yeah. it could be a, it could be a family drama. It could yeah. be us doing something for someone else at the, you know, uh, you know, compromising ourself. Yeah. Even if it's like a little issue or like, well, it's just a little issue. I'm going to I'm going to do this because, you know because I, I, I'm an empath and, and I'm going to do it and I can take the pain. We're not here to take pain. No. We're not here to suffer anymore. And, 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 and that's the crazy thing because it's all or nothing. Yeah. It's all, I've seen it happen with my, with my kids and, and, and I have, I have to do what I have to do. Yeah. You know? And, and I, and I can't, I can't be concerned about, what if they don't love me? And did it? I can't. I can't. That's I've right. got to do what I'm doing. And 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 believe in this, that I am divine. I know I am. I'm gonna stop saying believing. You know. Yes. But it, it's like an all or nothing thing, and it's so crazy because, on the extreme, uh, sensationalistic levels, it looks really cut and dry. Yeah. But on exactly. the itty, on the itty bitty things, it's no different. It's yeah. no different. You yeah. know, it really isn't. And, and the, the last thing I want to say is, I got this in it. I got this simple message this morning when I was walking. It said, if you're uncomfortable, get comfortable. And I said, what? They said, <laughs> the message is, if you're uncomfortable anywhere in, in the spectrum and any aspect of your life, get yeah. comfortable. And yeah. then I got it. And I thought, oh, like no compromise. Yeah. You're not, you're not, sh you're not uh, shortening anybody or cheating anybody else. It's no. about you. It is so about yeah. So if you have this this comfortableness, you have this peace. It's going to be that 
that nuclear love bomb, I call them soulgasms. <laughs> it's going to be that soulgasm from all, yeah. all of your chakras shooting out all different directions, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I do that as much as I can if I'm going to a place and I can feel that the vibes are down. And, and even, it's, it's a slightly different subject, but even it's still clearing timelines, though, and still clearing other dimensions, because I do a lot of that sort of work. Even if I'm going on holiday somewhere, I will end up doing some form of clearing and I will clear lost souls over. And, yeah. you know, I, I even remember I went to, to the prison that was in Tasmania a couple of years ago and it was, there was just souls everywhere. And I I, I actually, because I went in there uh, to have a look around and then I did some clearing and then I, I went away because they were about to close and I thought I've got to come back again because I haven't finished. So the next day, I actually came back again, paid to go back in, and then did a, another mass clearing. And, and it was so many different timelines of different yeah. generations, you know, that were stuck there. So wherever I go, I, I am aware or try and be aware of the energy of the place and what I'm picking up. And sometimes you know, consciously on a human level, I don't pick it up, but I feel it in my body or something, or I'll get the nudge from my higher self, um, you know, there's some work needing to be done here or whatever. And and yeah. it might be for the living that are, that are here in the physical. Yeah. Um, or it might be through some other dimension. I mean, even yeah. even when you talked about reptilians earlier, I've had people come to me that have got have had reptilian attachments. And yeah. what I've found is if you don't show any fear, they are disempowered big time. They are. Yeah. Yeah. They absolutely are. They absolutely yeah. are. I, yeah. And, and uh, but everything's limitless. And, and so you might, you know, I mean, that's like what happened today when I said, well, are you really sure that nothing can have power over you? And I, and I was like, I'm I'm sure I've got to go with that, but it was still made me wobble a little bit. But yeah. <clears throat> you know, but that's the normal human stuff coming in, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is, and and yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's it's uh, you know, it's like uh, I remember when I got to here to Kauai in late October, and I and my where I was rented a room, I, I walked down to the to the beach like five minutes away, and there was a very private lagoon. Yeah. And I've told this story before, and and I'm sitting on this this uh, this log on the on the beach right next to this forest, I guess that's what you call it, and I see this cave, and I'm looking through the brush, and I'm going, what the hell is that? And I'm seeing colors and waves and and fairies and just Beautiful. lots of different stuff, right? But I'm looking yeah. at it, and I'm going, am I seeing this? You know, so I. I couldn't walk through the brush for, I'll tell you why I couldn't do it because I was not, <laughs> because I said, I'll do that tomorrow. I can't do it today. This is too much. Yeah. Well, when I looked on what looked to be the wall of the cave and, and it was speaking to me too, it said, this is a universal portal. Anything mm -hmm. and everything is here. And I said, okay, I'm here. And they're like, well, you want to come in? I'm like, no, no, I'll wait till tomorrow. <laughs> but there looked to be a reptilian. Mm -hmm. on on the at the back of the cave and and it really posed a question that the, the universal portal posed a question and said what are you going to do and i sat there for a little bit and i just said i, I put my arms out and i said i i invite you into my heart mm. and that was it yeah well and then two or three days later i went back and the cave didn't exist so i know it wow here we go again right here we go again this is how the universe works yes absolutely and i was I was stone sober, <laughs> yeah, know, a little fatigued, but yeah, but so that's how it works. I mean, it's yeah. it's all or nothing. Yes, I, I want to make sure that we we talk about you. You've got a website. You're a practitioner. Yeah. Uh, why don't you tell us what you do? Okay, I um, I am a healer, but I also do intuitive readings. Um, and going back to how things have changed, I will also say with my intuitive readings, I, I do use the tarot cards. But what I found now is that I have to sometimes, unless I get a real strong feeling about something in particular, but I have to actually say that this is only one 
aspect of a possibility of your journey because we cannot predict now the future because everything is so all over the place. It is um, what it is today, right? <laughs> that's right, yeah. It is what it is today. Yeah. It is, and people are creating their own futures because of, of you know, their own feelings, emotions, and everything else. So, yes, I do intuitive readings. I also can do mediumship readings where I connect with past loved ones, which is, um, that, that's very moving for me when I actually do that for someone. Um, I do spiritual and cosmic activations because I've had a lot of ET contact and um, I, I'll i tell you, uh, if we've got time, I'll tell you briefly. We got, we got time, we started late and, uh, and okay. we got, I think two hours before the next show. I usually take a little 30 minute okay. lay down, but we got plenty of time. Uh, don't forget to come back to, I don't know that's where you're going right now, but I, I want to jump into the galactic part for sure. Okay, yeah. Um, okay, I've been, doing this work in in a healing practice when I lived in Auckland and um, I was round I did been doing this work actually for several years but anyway this particular night I was round a friend's house having dinner and uh, I often get visits from spirit so I, that's nothing new to me uh, but anyway the lights in the house started flickering like crazy so I thought oh and I felt the atmosphere change I thought oh there's something going on here spirits coming in for some reason the people I, I was with do not believe in any of this stuff. So um, I had to be very aware of not making them feel awkward or not, not, not making them think that I'm a nutter. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sure they already thought that. <laughs> yes. We're all nutters, every one of That's us. Right. <laughs> so um, what happened? was the lights were going crazy and I thought I've got to check the other rooms out in the house so I just said oh I'm going to the bathroom so I went down the hallway the hall lights were going nuts the bathroom lights were going nuts so I came back and sat down and behind my friends there was a ranch slider so a glass door which the curtains were open and it was a summer evening and I was looking through and just for about 10 seconds I saw this little gray being staring at me a very small gray being I've drawn yeah. them actually which if you one, I can send you the pictures of because I normally draw whatever experience I have. Yeah. Um, so this being was staring at me, and I, I just knew from that moment on. I had no fear. I didn't feel frightened at all. But I just knew from that moment on I was being observed, and that yeah. put a question in my mind: Why? You know. Yeah. So anyway, I always ask for confirmations. Um, about something happened because you do question yourself when something's happened. So uh, what I did was about a week later, I saw my friend and I said to her, "Oh, by the way, did your bulb go?" Because she just thought her bulb was on its uh, on its way out. And she she went, "Ah, oh, no, actually, the lights are fine." So that was my confirmation that what had happened. I had yeah. I did see that being yeah. Yeah. So about three to four months afterwards, I was in my healing practice working on clients and this what appeared to be like a hologram form of a, another small being, but a bit taller, uh, that had like a uniform on. Um, and I could see exactly what the material looked like and everything. But I know I was seeing her with my third eye. So she was, yeah. she was showing me herself telepathically. Anyway, she started teaching me things about what to do on the, on whoever I was working on at the time and, and showing me all these um, different techniques and showing me the energy field of the body, also saying about how important sound is. So hmm. using my voice also, keeping the frequency right up and stuff like that. It was amazing. So she stayed with me roughly for about three months, I think. Uh, teaching me every single time I was working, she'd come in and teach me. So that's where the spiritual uh, and cosmic activations came from. Um, th things that she taught me and then things that creative ideas that had come through myself as well. Um, so yeah, my healing went from, because <clears throat> I'm a Reiki master healer and or master teacher, and it went from doing things which are in a box I'm going to put 
now to no boxes, no rules. The only rules I have about everything is that everything is done within love and and integrity and all that stuff. Um, but I now go with complete guidance when I'm working. So when I'm working, whether it's healing, whether it's yeah, it's yeah. that spontaneous, intuitive, creative, courageous, imaginative, innocent, yeah. pure vibration, you know? It is. It is. Uh, and you've got that direct connection then to yeah. the knowledge that you need to pull down for that person. Yeah, I think um, the other thing that's interesting, too, is, I, and I've talked about this over the last uh, couple of weeks. I won't go into the whole story, but <clears throat> Morgan and I had uh, like three occurrences with the, with the uh, short gray, you know? Yeah. And, 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 and what, what I wanted to bring up was, is that when I asked, you know, what are you doing here? I was told I'm assisting you, which is what was happening with you. And yeah. I was also told, I was also told um, that we're observing you. And I said, why? And he said, because you guys have the ability to, to, uh, uh, uh you know, flow your emotions into your creativity, basically. Yeah. The, crea the creation, you know, new levels of creation or expanded yeah. levels of creation. And that, you know, that's one of, that's one of our, uh, that's what we're bringing to the table in the universal yeah. family. Absolutely. Um, and going on to the creativity thing, it's so important for children to be creative i mean i know in a lot of schools they're actually stopping things like art and pottery and and you know whatever else but actually it's so important for children to and to be creative all through their childhood and then they they keep that flow into um adulthood and the creative mind is literally a channel to the universal mind absolutely <laughs> and absolutely yeah yeah, and, and without that, no, you know, I see it in, I see it in, uh, uh, you know, when I've been, since I've been doing this, part of it is, is artistically inclined, right? Creatively inclined. Yeah. First poetry yeah. and then music with, with words or rap, I call it soul speak. But that's a perfect example. Uh, the perfect example, it's not the structuring and, and let's practice, practice, practice and make this perfect. I mean, there is some, element of, of of high level creativity and expansion there but the spontaneous yeah improvisational in the moment no fear past the point of embarrassment yeah. just letting it all go is is probably one of the most powerful physical uh things i observe not within myself and within yeah. other people yeah i totally agree and that's how inventions are made yeah. You know, people stepping outside of the box and actually actually taking things forward. And, and uh, you, you know, if you look at the old masters, the, the old uh, masters that were painters and all that, a lot of their stuff back then um, is, is now actually worth a lot of money. But um, also yeah. the <clears throat> inventors and scientists back then we're all now like tapping into what they used to say back then because it's it's what's they were right you know yeah. but in their time yeah. nobody believed them of course yeah. um it's yeah. like they were ahead of, ahead of their time or they get but refined they, you know they get, yeah. they get that's what we were talking about on the show the other day it's like music you know you get an old you get an old jazz or blues uh you know composition and then some new G dj comes out and he and he threads it into this electronic sound and it becomes this whole you know this yeah. whole expansion of of what was and that's yeah. I think, another part of what we're doing it yeah. is it is amazing uh and now have you had uh, now no, when you connect uh and i say this because you know i just observed somebody i've known i i don't know him personally but uh seen him around for since i've been off the street so a good five six years um Sometimes it seems to me, and I didn't have any galactic experiences for my first three or four years of awakening, but uh, they think it's the devil. They think it's a demon. They think this, yeah. but most of the people that I talk to, like you, they deal with the faces of the universe that are angelic or divine essences and galactic. 
you know, like yeah. to me, it's all one and the same thing, maybe different levels or something like that. I don't know. But do you do you uh, have a connection to certain energies or certain faces of the universe? Um, I do. I do. I believe I do. Yes. Many, actually. Um, absolutely many. Probably too many to mention, because even when I'm working, I call in absolutely everybody. Um, yeah. So it, again, we we are everybody, and everybody is us. So right. you don't have to. Um, when it comes to connecting in for my work, I do connect with everyone. But I have had like experience where I've I've literally seen that things out here, like like that being that was staring at me in the window. Um, I've also recently, over the last sort of couple of years had experience with multi-dimensional nature beings and if you like i've drawn them as well because i can send you the picture that i've I'd drawn love i'd love to yeah i will i'll, I'll, I'll uh, again here. We'll, put them, we'll put them up one by one on the screen we can put them on the screen okay cool uh, now you're talking because, about you're talking about um are you talking about elementals are you talking about multi-dimensional elementals although that might be the I'm, same thing I'm talking about, I can't tell you whether they're ele elementals, to be on perfectly honest. Yeah, if you right. was to see them, you would think they might be extraterrestrial. Yeah. So um, they are, my feeling, they are nature beings that are here. They live in the forest and they are multidimensional. They can materialize and dematerialize. They, you like, know, they're uh, in Like the elders, like Sasquatch. Like the Sasquatch. They don't even look like anything like that. They actually look oh, like right. small gray beings. Oh, okay. I just meant right. in terms of being able to, that, that they were interdimensional. Yeah. That's what I yeah. mean. Yes, they're definitely multidimensional. And and um, I have actually had c telepathic communication with them. Uh, we go into our forest here and we, we try and connect with them on a regular basis. Mm. Um, we, I know that they are here to look after nature. That's that's yeah. one thing I do know. They are here. They are in the forest. They're in there. Um, they're looking after the animals. They can also interact with birds. They can, they can, um, uh, like here, for instance, the moorpork, which is a, or the ruru, which is a owl. They can my feeling is take their consciousness into the owl's consciousness blend with the owl's consciousness and then uh, uh, help the owl to communicate with you if you like yeah. um so with they can interact with all aspects of nature whether it's plants like you might walk into a forest say and there's no wind whatsoever and and you're actually seeing a branch doing this now yeah 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 you know that is a that's a sign. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I I walk into the forest and I see. I can send you these as well. I see, and it looks like twigs have been placed in a certain angular position that either form a letter or form um, a. Um, it's almost like sometimes it looks a bit like light language for it, but it forms a message, and I know. That that is, they're telling me that that this is the right path. Yeah. And, and also, if you come across glowworms, that's another space, and certain trees as well. But anyway, these beings, I actually heard them walk heavy footsteps as if a human was walking down in front of me in the pitch black. This was because it was in the bush in the black, so I couldn't see them. But I actually heard, and they came down, and st or one came down and stood in front of us. Did you see I it? Couldn't see it. But yeah. what I did was with my, I couldn't see it with my these eyes balls. But I, what yeah. I did was I tuned in with my third eye, and that's when I saw them. Yeah. And there was a sea of faces. A, there was a sea of them all in the bush. But they had a guardian with them that was that was uh, taller. I've actually drawn the guardian as well, which was taller, very powerful presence energy yeah. with him, and he was just guarding, guarding, and making sure these little ones were safe. But as I've soon never, as 
Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, as soon as he realized that that we came with total open heart, you know, yeah. no fear and wanted to interact with them, he he almost like stepped aside. And then I could see this sea of faces of all these little beings. Yeah. And they yeah, are I've, looking I've, after nature. Yeah, I you know, I've never I've never heard that. Now I have been aware of nature beings, and I never I don't think I would use that term, but but I but I never really but I remember now that you're telling me this, this is why I love this show because it activates the memory, the soul memory. Yeah. And and I remember uh, right when I started getting on my feet and I was working in a restaurant, I would have to walk home every night past this, this like big lot that was in the city that was like the last forest. Like there, yeah. there wasn't, it couldn't have been more than three blocks, you know, this way and three blocks that way. And I would always stop and I would get on my knees and there was a, there was a, a, about six trees there and I would talk to the trees. Right. Yeah. And so one night um, I was, I was really connected with them. And all of a sudden I start seeing all these eyes. Right. And yeah. they're probably like, I don't, I don't know meters, but I mean, they're probably like 30 feet away from me. So like, yeah. like six of my body links five, six of my body. And all of a sudden I see all these eyes and then I see a couple of deer step out yeah. awesome. and then a few more step out. And I knew, and I thought, Oh my God. I, I mean, I didn't understand it, but I knew there was something, there was some type of collective thing going on there that was, yeah. that was not controlling, but that was, they were all, they were all of the same mind. They, they saw my light. Yes, would, absolutely. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. that's fair. It's it's um it's lovely and people don't realize like sometimes you can walk past a, a forest and if you tune into it you can you can feel that there is a sea of eyes watching you yeah. and and but it's not in a menacing way or anything like that it's an it's an in a, an inquisitive way it's like oh yeah. you know they're they're watching you because they're interested in seeing what you're doing and 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 yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, and like you said, they can see your light, and they can, they can they're, definitely. See. And that seems to be it, with animals uh, that well, everything seems to be more connected, and it would only yes. make sense. I mean, if we're moving everything. this fast, you know, it's like it's like uh, I don't know, it's it's like you said about the signs and everything. I mean, I walked out last night after working for a few hours and and everything was like you said and when you said that about the branch one branch is moving yeah i've seen that a lot but lately yeah. i've seen it a lot more yeah you know, like it's literally like sending me some kind of code or something it is it's like they're saying we're here you know we just want you to open your eyes and see us you know and stuff yeah. like that yeah. um I, I this is an experience that happened here a while ago we've got a uh, quite a big area of forest or what, as we call it here bush um and i had a group here and i took them down into the bush and we did a bush bath that's what i call them a bush bath so i take somebody through a meditation they're all lying down on the floor you know um they might have a blanket or they're lying down literally on the leaves or on the ground underneath the canopy of trees and I, I just take people through uh, meditation, whatever comes at the time, because again, because we're going back to the creative mind, whatever is needed for that group. So I just allow, allow it to flow. And I didn't know any of this until afterwards when we all talked. But I had our cat always follows us everywhere. And, I, you know, I believe cats are like your spiritual protectors. Anyway, he was following me and he was sat right next to me. And I'm talking everyone through it. And there's probably a group of about 14 or 15 people all lying down in the bush there. And they've all got their eyes shut. And, and I'm taking them through this group. And afterwards, anyway, when we were all talking, two people felt like they received healing yeah. from the bush. Yeah. Um, several people heard footsteps around their head, including my husband, who also heard footsteps around his head. He thought it, the cat was walking around them. But the cat wasn't. The cat was with me the whole time. Another person had an experience. He thought initially he thought I was stood behind him. And then he realized it wasn't. And he had this beautiful feminine being appear mm. to him. Wow. 
So yeah, everyone, it's like, you know, for whoever needed what in that group, they received whatever it was that they needed from that beautiful energy of the, of nature yeah. and and those beings that are there. And then after, that, go ahead, sorry, go ahead. just after that, we actually heard because I did I did a lot of toning and light language when I took people through the the mm -hmm. um, meditation. Just after that, when we were stood there in the bush, we actually heard a woman's voice toning back through the forest it was amazing yeah you're freaking me out <laughs> <laughs> so i had a question and then when you said that i just had this uh, this thing that happened last night well two nights ago i had this this well it was actually two three mornings ago 5 15 in the morning i had this thing happen to me and i wrote about it that's what yeah. i talked about at the top of the show and so i think it was was it i guess it was two so last night would have been the first night after and uh and i was pretty tired you know it was about two in the morning and i lay down and i'm in the same position and i can i can you know i can feel it since it see a little bit you know it's filling up and i'm like i don't know if i want to do this tonight i don't know if i want to do this tonight I, I i know i can have the right to say not tonight right yeah but then because one of the things that happened to me when that when that occurred for about 15 minutes i started doing this this sacred chant or, or sacred song yeah and awesome. somewhat of a primordial native you know type indigenous type voice and and so anyway i instead of trying to tell them anything because that's how it worked the other night they asked me what do you want and i just started doing this thing yeah and i knew that i knew what i needed or whatever they were whatever they were asking me was being conveyed through the song right yeah so last night i started to do that I started to do it not quite as loud and I just started doing it. And I heard about three or four times I heard the comeback. Right? Yeah. I heard it wasn't an echo and it wasn't the same tonality and I could hear it coming back. And I thought, but I was tired. And I thought, am I, am, what is that? What is that? <laughs> is that a refrigerator? Is it, you know, but it, but it wasn't. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, so that's, that's, why love, that's why I love this show. I love it. Yeah. I love yeah, it. absolutely. Uh, and and you know every experience i i really truly feel is so magical and we're so blessed yeah. to yeah. to have these experiences and and you know i wish everyone would have these experiences but not feel any fear and of course that's why they don't a lot of people don't have them because it would they would automatically go into fear and these beings that communicate there's, a, there's so, this bound the, yeah. we'll start so there's the boundaries. I mean, we, we can get lost in semantics. We can say a lot of different words that mean the same thing. But that's what I was going to say before you freaked me out. <laughs> I was going to say it's amazing that what we started the show with and what we were talking about, but it's amazing that when you walk into any situation, anywhere, anytime, any place with that open receptivity, yeah. you know, and, 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 and what is really a full, unencumbered, you know, unobstructed faith yeah you know it, it's yeah. it's an absolute surrender to the embrace it's amazing the things that you can experience absolutely now, now that you mentioned what you mentioned and i'm not you don't have you can do whatever you want to do but you mentioned light language and toning yes do you, do you, are you open to doing some of that now i can it's quite loud so i don't want to deafen anyone <laughs> it's okay it's okay how long have you been doing light language and toning Oh, several years now. And, and I actually, going back to what I actually do, I do uh, light language transmissions. And I also do, whenever I do a healing now, I actually do toning to someone. So I actually, if no one, if people don't realize what I do, I actually say to someone now, I will be using sound. And by the way, don't get freaked out if I start singing yeah. to you. <laughs> mm. Because if I didn't say that, they'd probably think, what, what's she doing? <laughs> but I, it, the tones of the voice and and I know, I, I used to call it cell singing because I know that the, the resonance goes right into the cells of the body and does something. I'm not in control of what it does, but I know it's doing something good. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, you are, so, you are, but maybe you're not conscious of the specifics, but yeah. 
I know, I know, and I know. I just go with what what I'm guided yeah. to do, and I know it's it's all good, I, and I, I really yeah. truly know that. Um, but I also do the light language, the toning, but I also um, do light coded tattoo designs for people. Oh wow! And this is how I have to do these. I actually do them while I'm watching the TV, and I'll tell you why. Because I have to have my mind distracted by something else. So what is coming through for that certain person is coming from my higher self or from the universal mind or whatever for that person when I'm doing a design for them. And I used to do guide portraits as well. And, and even when I did that, I had to have like something else going on that I was kind of mentally focusing on. So whatever was coming through was not being had no influence from my mind. It was literally coming from my heart and from my higher self for that person. Right. So I, I do those as well. In fact, I'm in the process of, of getting a collection together of designs that I've brought through myself to make a set of light coded cards because I do know that they activate people. Yeah. I, again, consciously, I don't know in what way, but I do know they definitely activate people. That's a good idea. It'd be like, it'd be like you remember those, uh, those uh, uh, mathematic flashcards they used to have? Yes. And this would be like a fast track flashcard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, absolutely. Yeah. So, yes, I can do some toning and yeah. light language for you if you like. I'm going to stand up because I just feel the energy okay. runs yeah. better. So yeah. just bear with me. And it's quite loud. I'm in a small room. <laughs> okay. sweet that was really sweet was there a specific was there a specific uh, uh something in there is it um i i actually i don't know i just literally i'm going with whatever yeah. comes whatever through comes at the time through. Yeah. yeah i'm sure it'll that, yeah that's uh, that's what i was getting with the, what i was getting at when i was talking about um like when i was when i was doing the the sacred song is I didn't think about specific words. I just no. knew that what I was putting out, the vibration of it was explaining it myself. Yes. <laughs> and it, and so, it comes so, from here. It, yes. it literally comes from the, the soul, really, the heart and the soul of, of your, your being. I, I believe everyone should 
when they can, when they've got the time, whether it's in the car or whatever, just do the same. Allow that expression yeah. Yeah. to come out of creativity that comes from the soul. And what I've found is that when I've been doing a healing session and I've sung and I've done the, the what I call light language, it's actually soul language. Okay. Um, I've I've had many different people say many different things, like like um, people saying, "I felt fully encompassed in love when you were singing or saying that." Um, yeah. I I felt it in my body. My body started vibrating. You know. Um, I don't understand what you were saying, but I recognize it, you know, yes. and stuff like that. And it's from a soul thing. Yeah. You know? Yes. So how do people get in touch with you? I think I put the website on the post. Okay, uh, thank you. Can you let us know uh, how, how can yeah, we get in touch? Okay, on my website, it's www.ginnyjoneshealing.com. Um, my email address if anyone would like to email me is ginny spiritual art at gmail.com um and yeah uh, there's many many things on my website please take a look through you can see all my um d designs that i'm done you can see exactly what i do i do house cl clearings and and energy rebalances and all sorts of stuff. There's so much on there. I think I need to redo my website actually and make it a lot more simpler <laughs> so people don't have too much to look at. Um, yeah. But yeah, please yeah. go to there because all my contact details are on my website. Okay, and so maybe yeah. uh, well, it's in the it's in the body of the post, and then any yeah. links that you want to uh, for people provide for people, you can put it in the comments. I'd love to have you back on like maybe next month and get Absolutely. a bunch of these pictures and go through it that way. And, and uh, that'd be really awesome. Cause I've got lots of pictures of, of beings that I've drawn. Yeah. Yeah. I think that would be really cool. So cool. let's plan on doing that. And uh, I'll reach out to you in, in probably in the, in the next day or two. And we'll set something up for maybe the middle part of April. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me on many blessings. Yeah. yeah and thank you for sharing that uh, light language and tonal tonal, uh, toning with us too and, that, and and everything it was a great conversation i look forward to collaborating with you again yeah me too thank bye. you see ya bye see you later bye bye thank you bye. so much thank you